Like when people hear submissive, they think enslaved. They think that you are belittling someone. And that's, for me, my interpretation, it's like, that's the farthest thing from the truth. Like when someone is submissive to me, it means that I have given and built up enough credibility and influence through my actions where people want to follow my lead. Now, if you have not done that, what's, what's the only way that you can get someone to do it, to do what you want? Force again. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's the furthest thing away from submissiveness. Submiss submissiveness is based in connection and cooperation. Mm -hmm. That you, because, you know, audience is probably mainly men, like, because you as men, you have masculine traits. And manliness is using those tra traits in righteous means to live a righteous life. That, is, that, that to me is what it is to be manly. And I'm actually it's... Back to that. This is... Sorry, I'm yeah. gonna share. No, no, you're good. You're good. Because I'm actually going to share something else that... Keep, keep going because this... Okay. I'm actually going to share another image because I think it ties into it. And to... When I, when I say live a righteous life, it's primarily used for building and not destroying. It's to... Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Um... <laughs> It's yeah, because that's masculine, feminine, and then that's behind it. What is it, Christ? The Christian principle. Exactly, the, and yeah, it, it's just it's frustrating when people take words and they twist them, or you know they don't know any better. And honestly, like that's my initial reaction. My initial my initial reaction is they don't know. Forgive them, Father, for they do not know. Like mm -hmm. that that is honestly my my initial reaction to many things is. I forgive them because they might not know. I didn't know for the longest time. So, and, and if all they're consuming, if all, if all their environment is composed of what I think it's composed of, you know, social media and just doom scrolling and negativity, of course, they're going to have that view. Yep. Why should I get angry with them? I shouldn't. So I do everything in my power not to, and I forgive them. And I come at it with play, from a place of love and understanding as best as I can. Once again, I'm not perfect. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's where you meet them where they're at and you connect and you have a conversation. And that's what's missing a lot in today's world, unfortunately, Yeah, is instead of connecting, it's a constant state of conflict. Instead of cooperating, it's just constant infighting and divis divisiveness for, to you and I, it's obvious reasons why the divisiveness occurs, right? Like a divided people are a lot easier to control. And if you're constantly giving things to people. Yeah, and weak men are easier to control. Yes. It, 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 without question, that's the whole point. I think about, yeah, and, and then you're gonna be handed everything. And you know what else, what, what comes with that is that if I'm handed everything, well, that's jail, right? I can have my my three meals and then, you know, I'm in a cell, I have shelter, I have everything and everything's taken care of, I might as well. Uh, why not just give it like just that's it? I'll just expect communism or whatever. Um, but you know, I shared this picture and I'll go back to the other one. You know, it goes back to there is, you know, th this whole thing, because I, I really want to dive into this stuff. LGBTQ. Th the problem is we as humanity, as men. We have a responsibility to lead and we are all we have all fallen short of the glory of God. We have all sinned. Every sin that we that we act in 
And let me be clear on my view on that. Sin is, is simply to miss the point. We're missing the bigger picture here. And every time we go against what thy way is, right? On uh, Just one example of that would be, you know, not, um, I say I'm going to show up at seven o'clock. I don't show up at seven o'clock. Well, that's a sin, right? In a sense, in a sense, right? And I have a lot to, to dig into, but essentially we're, we're lacking integrity. And every time we sin, every time we go, we we become a little bit weaker, then we start to rationalize good being bad and bad being good. And then then we are completely we're so this whole idea, it's the LGBTQ. And then what do you have? The Westboro Baptist Church on one end. The whole problem is men being weak. So to me, it just progressively becomes worse. And this idea, again, it's, you know, you said it before, right? nice guy i was a nice guy too most guys they were they it's rare that you have a very strong masculine father figure now these days and what it had what's happened is you know i think you nailed it too with the vacuum right it, it, it becomes built and women are stepping up on that not because they because they need to in many circumstances because there's become so many weak men so what do you expect a woman to do so Rather than to complain about it and say that that's as, as it is, because there was a part of me, for example, I had resentment, like all these women and all this. It's like, no, look at the man in the mirror, right? Going back to what you had said before. So you, what we need is men to just step up. And um, I think that, again, it's, it's at least this picture, I'll, I'll focus on this. This is at least how I interpret it right is that you have you have to have a set of values i believe those values are in christ that that's where really, really where you found them on and then in that is the mat the yin and the yang right because you can have people who are you know just because someone it's lgbtq versus oh if you're a straight man it's like how many straight men are actually being weak right they're actually that's why i was bringing up like sex before marriage or like go in my own life i've had sex before marriage i've done things the wrong way i've sinned so just because I'm not LGBTQ, I'm I'm off the hook. No, it's like we have to look at this through one lens. LGBTQ, that's a sin. But what do I think? I'm exempt because I'm in the straight community? It's like, no, what is the right way? Because there's plenty of people who are straight who are not going the wrong way. So when I think what this does is it makes it a human issue. And it doesn't because every LGBT, look, LGBTQ plus you, I, we are getting so divided. We're putting all these people into a group. It's degeneracy. And it's not just that we might as well throw in people who are, you know, who, who have no value system, right. Who are on that. So to me, it's, it's a human issue and it's not this group issue. And it goes back to these two polarities of masculine and feminine. You're absolutely right. Because in the gate, you're going to have to have that. You have to have that masculine and feminine. You can't, I mean, you can, right. But, and that's, that's, that brings me back to this next point, which is this other picture here is that you you either have either the woman is leading or the man is leading and if you have if you have a woman leading right by we're just different we're different there's nothing wrong with that and to me this is a similar way of saying Christ is is when Christ is number 1 the the husband has to submit to it's another way of saying it i would say the husband submits to Christ he has to follow Christ to the extent that he follows Christ submission from his wife that's something to be earned and that you know, a lot, that's and what's below the wife, the children of the household. But if he's not aiming towards Christ, then she's going to see she he has to be that example. The opposite of that is it's undermining the husband. She's leading the husband, you know, and it's yeah, it's the wrong order. Satan becomes lead, which you could say it's it's feelings over purpose. It's pleasure over purpose. I believe women are feeling oriented and men are purpose oriented. And to the extent that men, uh, they fail to take that responsibility, then the order becomes flipped. I, I'm not saying it, I, it. It's hard. You know, I have to start speaking that because otherwise it just becomes harder to make that point. So, you know, I well, don't maybe say it perfectly. Yeah, I don't say it perfectly, yeah. but it makes sense to me because either either the husband leads or the wife leads. You need to have somebody lead. If you go to war, if you're in, if yeah. you're on a baseball team, you can't have everybody lead. So. Okay, have the wife lead. So, but what is what makes a woman a woman, right? This all goes back to this basic thing. So, and, and I believe women are nurturers, men are naturers. So, and from like the masculine and feminine energy standpoint, like 
the masculine traits are the ones that are most beneficial in the war times. Like, that's where the masculine energy needs to step up. And every single day, masculine needs to step up. Men need to step up. 